what do you think about the uh, game and Meek Mill beef going on? The disc records back and forth. I mean, what's your overall take on everything? Shit, Meek, one of my top five favorite artists, and that's my homie too. It that's like a friend of mine, so ain't about picking sides, but that's my nigga. You know, I'm going. You gonna be loyal to who you rock with. Personally, I don't know game. And personally, that shit was whack to me anyways, like, whatever the situation is. Because I know the insides of that shit, so it's like, whatever. Some shit that happened in June, you bring that shit out in I'm fucking August, that shit, you know? But hey, more power to the game, man. All I got to say, Meek, my nigga, that's just what it is, period. He kind of co-signed... Uh Blow check. Blow check early. Yeah, yeah, definitely did. Tweeted it and stuff, right? He was one of the first people that did, like, first people. And he didn't even tell me nothing, period. He just went on the gram and put it up. But that's what Meek do, though. Meek always show everybody love, bro. Like, everybody. You look at the A Boogies, the Don Q's, the other cats from out Baltimore. Meek show love, man, period. Before Blow check, before Meek even knew I was rapping, he was rocking with me, like, before that. What do you think about rap beef in general? Like, let's take out the game and Meek Mill out of the equation. Just rap beef in general, disc records, what's your take on that? I mean... Good it, for the it, culture, bad for the culture? It's, it's good depending on how far it goes, you know? Some, somebody's gonna always be better than the next person. You know what I'm saying? It's like... It's, it's a competitive sport, so it's gonna happen, but it's just about how far it goes, you know? Like, if you just come at me out of nowhere, it's kind of like, my nigga, what the fuck is you doing? You know what I mean? But it's going to happen regardless. As you, If you're going to keep it on beat, keep it on beat. Because if it go left, then it could be ugly on both sides, you know? This nigga could die and this nigga could go to jail. Or both could die. You know how that shit be. And everybody's seen both. Yeah, definitely. Everybody's seen stuff just on wax mm -hmm. and stuff in real life past the wax. I just feel like it should be a friendly competition. Just be respectful about it. Now, yeah. now, let me ask you this. What do you think the best diss record of all time is, in your opinion? There's been a lot of classic ones. Mm. What do you think the best one of all time is? Just curious. Top of my head... You think the word dis, the, the phrase dis record, what comes to your head? Yeah. Boom, go. You know what I like? I actually like Black Youngsters diss to, um, to Dolph. It was pretty dope. It was funny. Shake some? Yeah, shake some. I fuck with it. But besides that, you got you got other series. This is like Jay, I'm, Jay Z's my favorite rapper, top one, top number one favorite rapper. So him and Nas, those was like legendary disses to me. You know, and then you got the Jada Kiss and Beanie Siegel. You got the... Pac and Biggie. Pac and Biggie, yeah. Even though I was kind of young, I ain't really get a chance. I mean, Hit Em Up was pretty dope and super disrespectful. Yeah. And you got the Meek and Drake. It's a whole lot of them, man. I can't really pinpoint what was the best one out of all of them. I'll be real with you. They cool. I listen to them. I just, me, I listen for bars. 